Hey guys, Luke Wilson here, bringing you the early off-season outlook by special request for Jerry Judy. Yes, I can imagine there's a fair amount of grumbling out there at the mention of the name Jerry Judy here in the late winter of 2024. So, to recap, obviously 2023 was rough for Jerry Judy. He was a guy with a fair amount of hype, you know, ex expectations were high going into 2023, and what he wound up with was like 54 receptions for 758 yards, a couple touchdowns, and like a wide receiver 50 finish in, in fantasy leagues in 2023. So it was rough. And so we should look for, you know, if there are any reasons to kind of dump the data for a player like this, I, I like to stop and take a look around and see if we have those. And I really think that we do. So Judy, he has a, a, a pretty severe hamstring pull late in August of 2023. At the time when, when word first broke, we thought it was going to be a, a multi-week, possibly a multi-month injury. Uh, it sounded really severe. But he, he came back from it very quickly, got back on the field. He did wind up missing week one, but he was out there by week two. But it really seems like that disrupted Judy's place in the Sean Payton slash Russell Wilson offense for 2023. Uh, amazingly, he had exactly three receptions in nine of his 17 games. It's almost impressive. For whatever reason, the the Russell Wilson version of this offense really flowed through the through Cortland Sutton and really through the the running backs. Uh, neither neither Judy nor Cortland Sutton were even able to get to 800 yards receiving. Uh, they 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 really kind of gave Russell Wilson the Daniel Jones treatment in 2023. So looking ahead into 2024, we know that Russell Wilson is almost definitely not going to be back. So I kind of wonder if maybe Judy's going to get a clean slate here. And I wonder if it's time for us to start to reset how we view Judy in fantasy as well going into 2024. He is not even 25 years old. He still has the first round Alabama pedigree uh, from a few years ago. And other elite receivers have had kind of herky-jerky starts to their NFL careers and then wound up leveling out quite nicely. I'm not saying that Jerry Judy is going to be Devontae Adams, but I'm, all, I'm just pointing out, not every receiver that is a household name today started off day one that way. Jerry Judy still has a path here. Cortland Sutton, he'll almost definitely be back, but there is there's an outside chance that he is traded or maybe even released. Obviously, the Broncos have a very strange salary cap situation, getting ready to release Russell Wilson and eat a lot of dead money there. So I, I really feel like this is an offense that we should not make any broad assumptions about right now. We know that they're going to have a new quarterback. That's really all we know. Looking at what the market is like on Judy right now in Dynasty Leagues, his market is way down, okay? After after kind of cresting as something like the wide receiver 20, uh, maybe even like the wide receiver 18 in, in Dynasty Leagues a few months ago, he's outside the top 50 at the position right now, okay? He's he's behind guys like Calvin Ridley, Deontay Johnson, Jahan Dotson, and those are all guys that I, I like as well, but I just, I really don't know that Jerry Judy should be behind those guys when he's still young and in a Sean Payton offense and heading toward a contract year himself. Okay, this is this 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 really does strike me as a prime buy low possibility. I'm not ready to call him a buy right now. We don't exactly know what the pecking order is going to be like between him and Cortland Sutton, assuming again that Sutton is still a Bronco in 2024, and Marvin Mims, who I really liked in the 2023 rookie class, is still lurking and also demanding an increase in his his target share in 2024. But the big question here is who's going to be the quarterback and how many air yards are there going to be to go around for the receivers when there were so few in 2023. If you're if you're bullish on Judy, you really like the player, you can get him for something like a middle to even late second round pick in dynasty leagues right now. I do really like that price point quite a bit. Uh, I'm just not quite at the point where I'm ready to say that you you definitely need to go and strike on that. Although I will say, if your dynasty team is at a point where you're kind of either in a rebuild or about to go, you think you're about to go into a rebuild, you're not super concerned with your team's results in 2024, I'm fine with going ahead and sending trade offers on Judy right now. Certainly by 2025, I think the odds are definitely in his favor that things should be starting to break his way by then. So yeah, when it comes to like redraft, what his ADP is gonna look like, in July, August. Really hard to say right now, honestly. 
I'm interested again to see where he settles in, uh, but there's just there's there's the fog hasn't really cleared yet on that front for me. The early offseason outlook for Jerry Judy, we are definitely keeping a close eye on him, but right now he is a hold.